Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to update the iPad OS with mobile data and without Wi Fi. On the settings app on your iOS device, go to Software Update and you'll see the latest version that is available for your device. If the update is large, it will show that it requires a Wi Fi connection to download. If you have an unlimited data plan, this video will be useful for you. However, if you have Wi-Fi at home, update the iPad later when your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi, as this method that I'm going to show you has a risk that the update might have errors and crash during the update. Not to worry, your iPad will back up automatically if you use this method, and if there is an error, you can easily solve the problem with all your installed apps still installed on your iPad. If you go to the About section, you should see that the software version for this iPad is 12.2, but the software version now is 15.7, which means that this iPad version is already very old and has not been updated as it has not been connected to Wi-Fi. You can use this method for iPhones as well. You would need a Windows or Mac computer to do this, and your computer and iPad need to have the internet for the whole update. If your iPad or phone has unlimited data, you can use mobile hotspot to let your computer receive the internet connection. However, make sure your phone or iPad's hotspot is fast enough to update your iPad. If you are using Windows, open the Microsoft Store and search for iTunes. Install the application and click on the open button after that. After that, accept the license agreement. Plug in your iPad cable into your computer. The iPad will ask you if you want to trust this computer. Click on Trust and enter your passcode. On your computer, they will ask you if you want to allow this computer to access information on your iPad. Click on Continue. There will be a pop-up saying that a new iPad software version is available for your iPad. Click on Download and Update, or if you want, you can download it and update it at another time. Right now, I am just going to click download and update. Go to the top right of the screen and click on the downloads button. You should be able to see that your iPad software update is downloading. After that, restart your iPad and after restarting, you should see a pop-up to update your iPad now. Click on update. While the iPad is updating, Make sure that, that the iPad cable is connected to your computer for the whole update. Keep the iTunes app open on your computer as well. If you see any error or the iPad update line has stopped moving, unplug the cable from your iPad and plug it in again. If prompted that there is an error on your computer, click on update as restoring will reset your whole iPad. If you did not see any pop-up, it means that your iPad is fine and you can just leave it on as it will continue updating itself. After it has finished updating, you should see the first time setup page, but this does not mean that your whole iPad is resetted or brand new. After you complete the setup, all your apps and settings will be there with the new iOS version. I hope this video helped you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next video.